Shalom from the National Council of Young Israel here at our headquarters in Paramus, New Jersey. We are happy to launch our newest program under the guidance of our new board of directors called Four Minutes of Torah. Each and every week, you'll be introduced to a new Rav within the Young Israel movement who will share with you words of Torah. With that very happy introduction, let us begin. Uh, Guten Erev Shabbos, everyone. My name is Ari Gallandauer and I am the uh, interim rabbi at the Young Israel of Greater Miami in North Miami Beach. And I'm looking forward to sharing with you the following Dvar Torah. Parsha Shlach is a parsha where a significant change takes place to the Jewish people, which causes effects and ramifications that we feel up until this point today in terms of what happened with the Chet HaMeraglim. I would like to share with you, however, something that takes place beforehand. When Moshe Rabbeinu is giving the instructions to the Meraglim in terms of what they should do on their mission, checking out the land, checking out the people, one of the things that he says is, V'hizchazaktem ulkachtem mipri ha'aretz that you should strengthen yourselves and take from the fruit of the land. And the Pasuk concludes, that the time period that they were spying the land in was during the grape harvest. Now, what was Moshe's intent by telling them this? So the Pasuk tells us, Moshe wanted that the Meraglim themselves and therefore the Jewish people as a whole should actually see the beautiful fruit of the land, and this will give them chizuk. They will see how much abundance there is, and how great it is, and how amazing it is, which will make them want to go into and conquer the land of Canaan to inherit it as their homeland. And so that was the intent. Vizchazaktem. And so the question then becomes, why is it that two out of the twelve decided not to bring back any fruit, according to the words of Moshe. And who are the two? Yoshua and Kalev. Because the Pasuk tells us that eight of them brought back a cluster of grapes, one brought back a fig, and another one brought back a pomegranate, and then Yoshua and Kalev didn't bring back anything. How could it be that the two Miraglim, who were providing the most chizuk, in terms of encouraging the people how wonderful and great the land is and that they'll be able to conquer it, how is it that those two are the ones who don't bring back the fruit in order to be mechazek the people with? So one answer that I heard that really spoke to me is the following idea. As we said, Moshe Rabbeinu told them, I want you to bring back the fruit and I want it to be as a chizuk for you as well as for the people. However, what did the other Miraglim unfortunately decide to do with this fruit? They do bring it back and they do show it to the people. But what do they say? They don't use it as a chizuk. They do the exact opposite. They say, look, look at this crazy fruit. Look at this oversized fruit. This is not a land for normal people. This is not a land for regular folks. Giants were living there. And you can see how twisted and odd and different this land is. Just take a look at the fruit. And so since the Miraglim had the intent to go ahead and use the very thing that Moshe wanted as a chizuk, but to use that to weaken the resolve of the people, therefore Yoshua and Kalev said, we're not going to bring back the fruit. Because the whole point is to be machazek. And if they're going to use something in a way that's going to be the opposite of that, that's going to weaken their resolve, Yoshua and Kalev decided we're not going to take part in that. And so a very clear lesson for all of us is that everything that we have in life and everything that Hashem gives us is meant to serve as a chizuk for us. It's meant to strengthen ourselves with. And that is the goal of all of the bounty that ultimately Hashem blesses us with. And may we be zolcha to continue to not only have all of the wonderful things of life, but to use those things and to give chizuk to one another and recognize that all that is given to us is meant to bring us closer to Hashem and to be mechazek ourselves 
through those gifts. A wonderful Shabbos to everyone and a special shout out to my former community in Ottawa, Canada.